This video was shot at a four-day illegal live pigeon shoot held at the Wing Point Canned Hunt Club in August 2012. The pigeons are not eaten. Shark investigators have filmed the birds piled up by the hundreds after a shoot, dead and alive, left to suffer and to rot. Pennsylvania's infamous slaughters not only violate state law, they violate every hunting ethic and any notion of common decency or compassion. The little guy with the shotgun is a New Jersey resident whose twisted idea of sport is to blast away at live pigeons tossed out of boxes. Most of Pennsylvania's pigeon shooters are out of staters. They flock to PA to indulge in abuse that would get them arrested at home. Berks County District Attorney John Adams refuses to prosecute these open violations of Pennsylvania humane law, which is of course why the shooters flock to Berks County, as well as Bucks County, where District Attorney David Heckler shows similar contempt for the law. In 2002, the Honorable Scott Lash, a judge in the Berks County Court of Common Pleas, refused a request to declare pigeon shoots outright illegal. Judge Lash did, however, lay down certain requirements as to the treatment of the wounded birds. Within Judge Lash's order is the following condition, quote, At no time shall anyone kick, swing, stomp, slam, or otherwise further abuse any birds, unquote. So watch what is about to happen. Look to the right side of the screen and you will see a wounded pigeon, one of hundreds left to suffer lingering deaths in the course of the four-day slaughter. In spite of Judge Lash's order, a shoot participant walks over to the pigeon and attempts to stomp it. Watch that again. There's no question about the guy's intent. Who is this great pigeon stomper? None other than the owner of Wing Point, dubbed the Slob Father. The Slob Father can violate Judge Lash's court order with impunity because pigeon shooters and their sponsors in the National Rifle Association run the state. The NRA is the reason illegal live pigeon shoots still persist in Pennsylvania, in spite of many Humane Society police officers and other officials publicly stating that the shoots are against the law. While we realize that most NRA members merely wish to protect their right to own guns, the NRA's leadership is made up of extremists who support any use of guns, no matter how ridiculous, cruel, illegitimate, or illegal. Ultimately, the bullying, extremist leadership of the NRA may damage the right of Americans to keep and bear arms. This is Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness.